They've got such a fast attack speed. So speedy. I don't think I've got anything. I mean, we've got this Zealot's Blade, which is quite fast. But I don't really have anything faster. I suppose I could chuck a throwing knife at them. Um. Where was it that we actually died? Was it in here? Well, I guess we'll uh, just have to rush through. That area again. Oh, we can pick up two of the uh, annoying squibs on the way. Is this where I wanted to go? No. That's where I wanted to go. Oh no, it is... I forgot, we, we got another... Um, Warp points. Nope. It's in the, the level design is interesting because the areas look in many ways kind of samey and yet they're very clearly not and if you're paying shut If you're paying even half an ounce of attention, which sometimes I am, um, it's it's really not too bad to to navigate around. Right, we died somewhere over in this room, wasn't it? Yes. Go up to seeds, but more importantly, a note. The dogs are turning evil. One of them attacked the face of a child. I had to put it down. Go on then, random thing. What do you have for me? Uh, some almost identical armor. Right, what we got down here? Huh.
This, of course, would have been a perfect opportunity to test my parrying ability. Instead, I should just hit, get hit. The scouts. Uh, that is just generally all that better. Well, I can't test my parrying ability because I don't have a shield equipped. You muppet. Uh Well, that's looking lovely. Nope. This looks a lot like a boss door. But it won't be because there's no Oh, this is down to the Crusader's Haven. So we've made a big loop. Yeah, this is the, the door for What's-A-Face. But, again, we haven't got the... Um... The no boss stone, mind you. Ah, there was a door down here. Where's this take us then? The ancient incubator. So another damage? Yeah. And is this going to take us to the boss as per normal? Yeah, it is. Okay, we can face off against the mysterious entity again. Been a while since I've fought her. Ow. No. Almost got hit by that again. Jeez. Stamina management. Yeah. 
apples. Such a weird ability, that one. And that takes us into the hidden room. So yeah, again, because of how the game works, it kind of locks us into a path. Uh, no, we'll keep the uh, the light. So this just takes us down to the uh, the main cathedral entrance. It would be nice if there was a way of warping back without having that consumable equipped. Or maybe I will just start equipping it all the time. Because the ability to go back to the start whenever we want is actually kind of useful, I think. I'm assuming I don't need to do the escort quest again. No. Because that would suck. Not that it wasn't fun doing it once. But having to do it multiple times, nah. Wasn't there a big giant... Monster in one of these? Or was that just for the escort quest? Oh no, he's here. Uh. It's you in the head! Gotcha. Ooh. A tattered plush toy. Darkness overwhelms you. But only when you've got that equipped. Okay. Entering a new room gives us a shield. Wonderful. That's actually a really useful uh, trait to have. Oh, that actually hurts. You take double damage? Well, I don't think we're going to be lasting very long, are we, now? Cross beset with topazes. I shall take that. And it gives us... Extra sight range? Yeah, it makes everything a lot brighter.
This episode's going to run on again. <laughs> Damn it. I should have stopped at 35 minutes when I got the natural break. But I did not. Right. Let's go. Careful not to use too many needles. Good advice for life. I want to... Yes. The Obsidian Cathedral. It's very quiet. Too quiet. Still it escapes. How much damage do I need to do? Six out of seven. He merely told me that we do not even know every room in this holy place, that so much was left to explore, and that he had undeniable proof. Glowing relics from another age. Glowing? Things left to explore? These words make no sense. This is absurd. There's a person down there. And I'm assuming it's an enemy. Yep. Ah! Ow, you got ma range, mate. Ow. Suck it. Can I sit in the chair? No. That would have been a nice Castlevania moment. Ninety. Go on then, I can manage ninety. Healing statue. Dead guy. Ooh. Sadly, again, not a blacksmithed one. Ah, that's how we get up here. One eyed bow. Is this going to curse us? This object is tied to a bull, a powerful enchantment, enchantment aimed at driving its bearer mad. That's kind of weird. So it's only when we are using the bow, which is good. Right, there is a... Oh, we can't get through there.
Don't really want to get hit by that. Um. Aha! What's that? More damage? Yeah, truth cannot be communicated. It has to be understood and self-realised. That's deep. Is this put me... Yeah, that's put us directly above where we were. Another cursed weapon? Short coated blades. Enemies no longer grant you faith. not really any points to killing both of these but no oh, no I'm wrong cursed relic double damage no thanks there seem to be a lot of ways that you can make the game quite hard for yourself if you want to one gift in exchange for another, an offering for a wish, blood drawn for a new life and a righteous path. However, a gift in hopes of a favour or answered, prayers, is everything but altruistic or pure. Do you not agree? You will burn. Ah, You've caught some virus that seems to be enhancing your physical performance while crippling your mental attribute abilities. Plus 10% damage, but minus 100% crits. Um. One door down. That's what we're after. Oh, hi. Pultus cures the disease. Right. What did we actually get? Suspended sensor does 20% crits. Or a heraldic shield. So the sensor is just like a torch in that it offers uh, an offhand. Doesn't offer any light though. And as we've already established, I like having the lights. And 
Nope. And a tattered plush toy. So those things aren't particularly rare. Broken rattle. So these giant baby things are uh, quite fond of dro dropping trinkets. Dodging. War axe. Nice. New thing unlocked. So definitely worth coming down here. And now let's get out of here. Teleportation altar. Right. We're going to leave it there, otherwise this is really going to become a super long episode. I'm, obviously, I'm going to have to record another one straight after this. Um, because there's no save and quit function in this. I don't know whether I've mentioned that before. If you quit out of a run, you go back to the start of a run. Um, so yeah, whilst we'll have got everything saved, I think. Um, yeah, don't want to faff with that. So... Thank you very much for watching. Apologies, this one's uh, gone on a little bit long. Um, maybe I'll actually split it into two because I think there was a natural break point about halfway through, about the 32, 33 minute mark, and I didn't take it because I'm really smart. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this one or possibly two videos. <laughs> Catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe. Remember to ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.